potentially growing power that we, where we, we fear that we may wake up one day and the world is, is ending. So it's, it's, it's really... Talk about what is the scariest thing that you've seen, because like outside, a lot of people picture you as, you know, you have access to this stuff and you, we hear all these rumors coming out of AI and it's like, oh my God, they've seen consciousness or they've seen AGI or they've seen some kind of apocalypse coming. Have you seen, has there been a scary moment when you've seen something internally and thought, uh-oh, we need to pay attention to this? There have been like moments of awe. And I think with that is always like, how far is this going to go? What? There's no like, we don't secretly have you know, we're not secretly sitting on a conscious model or something that's capable of self-improvement or any, anything like that. Um, what the big AI risks are going to be. Um, involved on thinking about where, where we're going to see those. But the, I, I continue to believe there will come very powerful models that people can misuse in big ways. People talk about the potential for new kinds of bioterror, models that can prevent, present like a real cybersecurity challenge, models that are capable of self-improvement in a way that leads to some sort of loss of control. Um, so I, I think there are big risks there. And then there's a lot of... ...actually growing power that we, where we, we fear that we may wake up one day and the world is, is ending. So it's, it's, it's really not about trial credit. It's but, about plausibly saying that the pieces are in place to shut things down quickly if we, if we see a oh, danger. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, of course. 